an underground city in Turkey. For centuries, people have told tales of caves and tunnels deep inside the earth. Subterranean passageways that lead to lands of gods and monsters. But is there a surprising truth behind these legends? Could there really be mysterious places far beneath our feet? Bordered on the north by the Black Sea and by the Taurus Mountains to the south, lies Cappadocia in central Turkey. Here, wind and water have sculpted strange shapes out of the soft volcanic rock. Rock which ancient peoples once turned into small primitive dwellings. In more recent years, the site has seen the construction of more modern structures. But in 1963, a simple home renovation in the town of Derinkuyu led to an extraordinary discovery when a cave wall was opened, revealing a passageway to an underground city thousands of years old and more than 280 feet deep. Incredibly, the number of rock rooms that were found could hold over 20,000 men, women, and children. There was even evidence of religious centers, storerooms, wine presses, and stables for livestock. Oh, Darren Kuyu would have been a massive undertaking for anyone, even in modern times, with modern equipment. But in those days, it would have been um, stupendous. Equal to the pyramids. At Darren Kuyu, because of the softness of the stone, you had to be very careful that you provided enough pillar strength to support the floors above, otherwise you'd have catastrophic cave-ins. Surprisingly, there's no evidence of any catastrophic cave-ins, so they were apparently extremely clever and knew their material. We're talking deep antiquity. It is mind-boggling to understand how they could have done this. But just who built this massive underground city? And what mysterious force drove them to live underground? According to many archaeologists and scholars, Darren Kuyu was most likely intended to serve as a temporary shelter from invasion, built around 800 BC by the Phrygians, a Bronze Age people related to the Trojans. Others believe it was built by the Hittites, a warrior people mentioned in the Bible who flourished hundreds of years earlier. But could the underground city be even older? It is, perhaps by many thousands of years. The Cappadocia region of Turkey was part of the Zoroastrian Empire, which was Persian in nature. And it's one of the oldest religious traditions on the face of the earth. The Zoroastrian religion, an ancient faith based on opposing forces of good and evil, is widely believed to have influenced both Hinduism and Judeo-Christianity. Founded some time before the 6th century BC, its chief god is the creator, Ahura Mazda. And in the second chapter of the Zoroastrian sacred text, the Vendidad, Ahura Mazda saves mankind from a worldwide environmental disaster much like the story of Noah in the Hebrew Testament. According to the sacred texts, Yima built a multi-level underground city to protect a select group of people and animals, not from a flood, but from a global ice age. The Vendidad calls this the evil winters. According to many mainstream climatologists, the last ice age peaked around 18,000 years ago and ended around 10,000 BC. Is it possible that Derinkuyu was built as a refuge from a devastating global winter? But if Derinkuyu is, in fact, the underground city that Ahura Mazda told his followers to build, could there be a stunning truth behind the legend?